What's going on everybody? Welcome to Always Occupied Home and Product Reviews. In this review we have the Aguirre Fab Aerator. This is a spike aerator. I know I said I wanted to do some core aerating. At this moment in time, I'm mentally not there to go to Home Depot, rent the Ryan aerator and get a trailer because it's heavy as crap and bring it all here and do it all in one day i just my mental is not there right now so maybe next season in the spring right here i was browsing on amazon and seen this spike aerator so this is a 16 inch aerator you should be able to push and pull with this from what i've seen you need to put a weight on it so it can make it heavier but we will get into that once we do this unboxing to let y'all know i found my knife slash razor all right lift that up and here we have our ninja stars <laughs> now this is not that sharp but it does have a pointy tip on it so we got five spikes put that right there we have the handle this look like the station where you're supposed to put the weight on a block or something something to weigh it down right here we look like we have a shaft rollers what we mainly need for this is the instructions let's get into it let's check out these instructions and wow seems like a lot of stuff <laughs> oh wow so if you buy this thing just take note that you're not getting too many words on here is just showing you pictures of what to do so if you have this thing you stumbled across the right video because we are going to try to assemble this it looked like from what i seen this goes on top of this little recessed part right here so we're going to put that like that so let's go ahead and put the shaft on <clears throat> Put one of the spacers on to say put nine or nine a all right you guys so i'm gonna let you know that the instructions are very crappy on this so you definitely may want to stay tuned on this video watch the whole video so let me put another one in All right, you guys, so what I did was I put all the big uh, couplings on first and it looks nice and spaced out together. This little rubber part that's going inside, from, from what I see on the paper, it looks like they all going this direction and it's going inside of the, cu of the coupling. So everything should be inside of the coupling. All right, you guys, so from what I see in the picture, I have the little coupling, right? So I'm going to put that on the end and then I'm going to put the L shape right here through the coupling because it has another little, they call this a flange bearing. So you put that inside of the coupling like that, right? All right. So I think we almost done this side. Not that bad. They did give us a bunch of nuts and bolts. Also washer. Uh, let me get this so I don't lose nothing. Put the washer on and they have a pin you put the pin through the hole this is what it's supposed to look like all right i'll do the other side for y'all let me bring y'all a little close we have our little coupling the recess is supposed to go through the coupling so you want to put that down like this and now you put the washer on and you put the pin through tight as possible all right now if you want this more secure you bend your pin so that way it don't come out you could do it with your finger too but just bend it a little bit all right you guys i think the hard part is out the way right now we are about to get into number two which is putting the platform on all right you guys so it says put m8 on it now I don't see an M or on here, but I do see an eight. 
and everything else don't have numbers this says eight so you know what i'm just gonna put these for right now 12 there we go we got it 12. i went to get my drill gun anyway um uh, this is going a little bit too slow for me so it's 12 millimeters on one side 13 on the other why they do that i don't know So we are done step two with putting this platform on which is called the frame tray now we are going to install the foot tube basically in the picture is telling you to hook it up like this but if you hook it up like this it don't matter because the holes is the same on opposite side let me see if i can find a 10 millimeter Now you're going to install this the same exact way. So if you have the loop like that, you want to put your other loop the same way, just like how they got in the picture. So both of these sides are 10 millimeters. Now we have the bottom part of the whole handle assembly together. If you install most lawn tools, you know that little half moon they have on there. You want to put that on the outside. You don't want to put that on the inside because it's going to look awkward and that's not the right way to do it especially on the instructions so you want the loop on the outside get your butterfly screw it has little squares on it right here you just want to match up with your square here just like that so it could go all the way in you have two screws left last part of this build same thing you guys we're going to take the butterfly and the washer off Put the handle on, put it in, all right, put our washer back on, hand tighten. All right, same thing with the opposite side. All right, you guys, we got the whole thing assembled. The handle all the way to the floor in the angle. You got about 40 inches. I am 5'8". Now, if you're maybe six foot or six foot something, it might be uncomfortable, I'm not sure. So if you had anything that was 40 inches long and if you are tall and felt uncomfortable, you will feel uncomfortable with this. Let's go to the field. All right, this is a pass with no weight. All right, now I'm gonna do a pass with weight. I strapped it down. Okay, you guys, so you do see there is a difference. Now, if you step on your uh, the holes you make, it will get covered because it's not really making that deep of a hole, but it is scraping the yard up. So the spike aerator put the spikes in. So you can actually see it went into the soil. It does have some depth into it. It makes the lines in there, but it's not really a deep, deep, hole all right so it's basically scraping it's, it's making a hole but not that deep now as far as core aeration now you're about to see a difference i'm gonna put this side by side all right now now y'all can see the difference and that one is going even more than three inches you have your spike aeration and your core aeration and that is the difference okay you guys so i got done doing my whole yard oh <sighs> where should we start the best way to aerate your lawn is core aeration unfortunately for me my i'm mentally not there to go to home depot to rent the core aerator and i will have to get a trailer because the core aerator is heavy right and Instead of getting the trailer, I wanted to buy one of the uh, one of those racks from Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight has a little rack that I could put on the back of my truck, and it has a little ramp. I could just roll the core aerator up, but I didn't have time for that because if you are getting into your lawn, or if you're new to renovating your lawn or aerating your lawn, this might make you quit doing lawn work period 
Now, the part that might make you quit is when you put the weight on it. When you put the weight on, the thing is like super manual labor. So if you're fragile, or if you're, you know, if this is your first time DIYing your lawn and you just want to spike air rate and you just want to do something real quick, don't do it, you know. Don't put the weight on it, at least. Now, if you don't put the weight on, it's very easy, like super easy to roll. <clears throat> but the thing about when you put the, uh, when you don't put the weight on, you're not going in the surface that deep. So that's something that you need to take uh, take note of. Another thing, I have a scarifier. So basically, I can scratch up the yard if I want to. If you have a scarifier, you may just want to save on on your money just leave this in the Amazon shop don't worry about it if you have a scurifier because when you got a scurifier you, you should have like two attachments there's one that literally scratch up your dirt it, it scratches up your uh, lawn that's what this basically does it scratches your lawn up and your dirt um, and on the other attachment on the scurifier they have the little teeth on it so all the dead uh, grass that's left over from the seasons you can scrape all the dead grass up and that's basically it so if you have a scurifier you don't have to worry about getting this now um, I know I said this on the unboxing but if you are taller than Let's say 5'9". If you are tall, you are going to be uncomfortable. I just have to... I'm going to just give it to y'all just like that. Um, and that's about it. If you have any other questions, comments, concerns, please put it in the comment section. I hope I tackled all of y'all questions. And I'll catch y'all in the next video. Like, comment, and subscribe because I have a, another product coming that is for our lawn overseeding. Catch you on the next video.